what is permeability and how it can be measured. This and more you will find out now. The magnetic permeability describes the magnetic conductivity. The value 1 is determined by the vacuum. If we have a magnet and put a material with a high permeability close to it, the field lines more like to go through the material. The material has a higher magnetic conductivity. The permeability value 1 is determined by the vacuum. Material with a value smaller than 1 are called diamagnetic. This includes as example copper. The magnetic field lines are ousted. If a material has a value greater than 1, it is called paramagnetic. Here the field lines prefer to go through the material. If a permeability value of 300 is exceeded, a material is described as ferromagnetic and it conducts magnetic fields more than 300 times as well as the vacuum. The permeability of a material depends on the magnetic field acting on it. If, for example, a magnetic field of a few nanotesla acts on a steel component, its permeability differs significantly compared to a field of several millitesla. If a magnetic field is applied which is so strong that the material is almost completely magnetized, the value reaches 1, so the value of the vacuum. A magnet is used to measure permeabilities in the range of 1 to 2. If this magnet comes close to permeable material, the magnetic field lines are deformed. This deformation is recorded with a flux gate and is proportional to the permeability of the material. Our system is now trained with known standards. Such a standard is included with any measurement system for having a safe measurement. Ok, now we can start to measure. We have our probe and our probe is a magnet with a field strength of 30 kA per meter. This means our value we measure is related to this 30 kA per meter. Our standard value of 1.0383 is also related to 30 kA per meter. Now we move the probe on our standard and we get the same value written on the standard, so our system is ready for a safe measurement. If the value differs, an adjustment based on the standard can be performed. Let's move to our object. We take our probe, move the probe on the part and we get the measurement. If our component is larger than a cube with 25 mm, we can measure according to national standards. So now we can measure different parts and we get comparable values. If our part is smaller or has a curved surface, we can do a comparative test. So we can measure the part on this position, but we have to make sure to measure always in the same position. In the case of these tubes from nickel-based steel, we have high temperature corrosion and as more high temperature corrosion we have, as higher the permeability is. So we have this tube with low high temperature corrosion, so a low permeability value. And we have this tube with a higher value of high temperature corrosion with a higher permeability value. So if the requirements are well known, the permeability measurement can be really easy and really fast. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.